Hi, it's Andy. So what I was going to do today was show you this new like journey I'm on to find a new piece of luggage because my rollerboard, I think it's finally done. Uh, but if you look outside, you'll see that it's raining like really, really badly. Made for an interesting drive home. So instead, what we're gonna do today is talk about my favorite site that I use to search for airfares. Uh, in the years past, we had a couple of different options. One of the best ones out there was a site called itasoftware.com, and it's still great, it's just a little bit hard to learn. But then Google bought ITA Software, and now Google Flights is an unbelievably solid resource for finding flights, finding the best days to fly, comparing uh, the prices for different airlines. And Google also started putting some of their, I guess, Googleness uh, to use to try to figure out not just the cheapest flight, but the best flight. So if a flight is like 20 hours long, but it's $300, well, okay, the next flight is $325 and it's three hours long. So they would show you 325, so your little quality of life metric in there. Anyways, it's a lot easier to show you than it is to tell you about. Uh, so we're gonna go over to the computer and we're going to uh, take a look at Google Flights. I'll give you a couple of tips, what works for me. Now, I may not know everything about Google Flights quite yet, but I just wanna give you a couple of tips and get you started. Okay, so we are at Google Flights. The address is just real easy. You can either just search for Google Flights or it's flights.google.com or google.com slash flights. 13 different ways of getting there. Anyways, so what you'll see here is your kind of main portal and it's pretty simple to use. And you're gonna see a couple things here, like a round trip, you're gonna see a from and to destination. Uh, you're gonna see some previous searches you've done. Uh, it also has some like discovery options, and I'll get to those in a minute. And then it has a map down here, which is also incredible. Okay, so we're just gonna do, to lead things off, we're gonna do an example search from Dallas to, uh, let's say Miami. And you can list economy adult here, and you will see that we have uh, a lot of flights that pop up. And you'll see from a bunch of different airlines, and then you'll see even down here, it's a show 32 longer or more expensive flights. You'll see a variety of flight options, those change depending on price but then you'll see up here so if on these same days june 16th through the 20th if i fly to fort lauderdale instead i can actually save 50 bucks so it's only 287 if i click there it takes me directly to that search and opens up a bu bunch of other options now when i do that though you're going to see that it brought up spirit airlines now if i don't want to search for spirit airlines because personally i do not enjoy flying spirit uh, you have some filters up here as well. So if I go to airline, I can actually scroll down here and I do not want Spirit, but I'm okay with any other airline. So now you're going to see that I have an American option, I have a United option, a Delta option here. And then you're going to see more information up here. It says, okay, if you return one day later, if you return on Tuesday instead of Monday, you can save $69. And sure enough, if I click there, Excellent, and it's always going to try to find a way of getting you there a little bit cheaper uh, if you're willing to be flexible by a day or two days or so. So that's just an example of if you know where you're going and you know roughly when you need to be there. Um, and then here's, you know, for the examples of filters, you have, you know, one stops, two stops, only non stops. You can filter by price. So I only want to see options under $250. Uh, I can search. Here's a cool thing. I can search by airlines. Uh, let's get rid of that spirit one. I can also search by airline alliance. Now this is going to come a lot more into play on like an international itinerary, but this is still something very powerful and I'll show you how that works here in a second. And then you have your times you can sort by and then some other options as well. Um, and you can also separate your tickets now. Um, a lot of airlines uh, will no longer uh, price out a ticket based on this round trip idea. They just price it out as separate legs. Um, and Google has already integrated that pricing methodology into Google Flights in order to save you money. So uh, anyways, you have a bunch of different options here. It's just fun to click through and see what they'll do for you. Um, but let's do another search, okay? Let's say, uh, let's see. Let's, uh, well, actually, I tell you what, when I pull up dates, if I know it's Dallas and then Miami or Fort Lauderdale, if I click this calendar button, you're going to see that it actually 
pulls up my actual like the, the price options that I have and the lowest price that it finds is going to be in this green font right here and now if I isolate that down just for American because I fly American uh, most of the time it's going to isolate it down it's going to that filter will apply to all of these prices as well and you'll see that see that June 2nd a couple days from now is still the cheapest option if I click that then it's going to show me Okay, 188 if I come back on the 7th or if I book a month long trip, it'll be $167. This is great if you know you want to go to like a certain place, let's say like Vegas or something like that. You're not really too committed on the dates. Uh, you just know you want to go get some Vegas time. So excellent, July 4th weekend. So if I go Saturday until let's do the 5th, well, it pulls up 222 bucks. But it'll find this for me as well, so 172 bucks if I leave Sunday and get back Wednesday. So if you're a little bit flexible, Google Flights is going to show you uh, all of your different options. And just as an example of what happens when I click here, so let's say this 840 flight works, then it's going to ask me to pick my return flight, let's do a 430 flight. So then it's going to give you the option to book it with American, and it sends you directly to American's website. Now it could also send you to like Orbitz or Expedia, but it's very clear where it's going to send you. So for people like me who always prefer to book it on the airline site itself, it will go ahead and preload those results for you in AA.com and allow you to book the seat with your own frequent flyer stuff and, and anything else you want. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you is what if you have some dates you want to travel but you're not sure where you wanna go. You just wanna see what ideas are out there. What is you know, if there are any cheap flights to a certain part of the world. So what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to say Saturday, July 2nd to Wednesday, July 6th. And where it says Las Vegas, I'm just going to backspace, then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so it takes me back to this main screen, but I'm going to click Explore Destinations. And you will see that Google Flights has gone in and performed this search uh, for pretty much everywhere. And so you will see all around here, all sorts of flights, all sorts of destinations and how much it's going to cost to get there. Now, keep in mind, I still have my American filter on. If I, uh, if I put this on any airline, you're going to see a lot more options. So what I always recommend that people do whenever they choose this method of searching is to narrow it down by price. I don't really care. Let's say my budget uh, is $200. So any flight under $200, you're going to see these red dots. So you'll see Phoenix, Vegas, Denver, Minneapolis, and Atlanta. Now, if I want to further narrow it down for the Spirit Airlines stuff, once you're doing this big map search, it's usually, uh, it'll restrict you to airline alliances. So let's just narrow it down to one world. Okay, so now you'll see that for, from July 2nd to July 6th, if I go to Las Vegas, it's 187 bucks. If I go to New Orleans, it's $187. Uh, two party places, probably the last place you'd want to be on July 4th, to be honest, but that's okay. So what I use this for, uh, I, you, you guys know me, I do a lot of mileage runs and things like that. So let's go to like under $700 One World. Okay, so you'll see that opens up a bunch of options here, of course. But what's really fun is that if you drag this map around, it's going to keep doing that search for you. So you may have to give it a second for the results uh, to come back. What you can simply do is just drag this around and see what flights are going to meet your filter. Obviously, South America is probably not the best place to look for a deal right now. But if we go to, let's go over to Asia. Let's see if we get any, what I just, see if we get any red dots. Okay, so not looking there, or not looking good there, but let's go to like a grand or 1100 bucks. So once I drag that, you're going to see that Ho Chi Minh City pops up. Excellent. So that's a deal there. Now, whether that's a good deal or not, that's really up to you. That's probably not a great deal. Um, and all you have to do is if you find a deal you like, you can click there. And then the flights will pop up and you'll see that your options here. I can click on American and it's going to take me back into the same page. And since I isolated down to one world, it's only going to have me on American or one world partner. So if I click here, you'll see that I'm on American Dallas to Tokyo and then Narita to Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon, and then return flight, kind of the same thing. So it's gonna take me back that same way. And again, it's gonna book me on an American flight. And then it'll even tell you the flight numbers there. So without getting into too much detail, there are certain times where you want to be on an American Airlines flight number in order to 
earn the maximum amount of elite qualifying miles. So in this case, I can tell just at a glance that I'm on three American flight numbers. And since this is on a JL flight number, that means I'm probably going to be losing some of those elite qualifying miles. Anyways, if I wanted to, I could click right here. It would take me into American's website and I would be good to go there. And then likewise, if those dates weren't ideal, then look here. So it's whenever you click that button, you're going to see I have some new options. It's going to find me a cheaper flight you know, just a couple days later, uh, stopping in Hong Kong instead of Tokyo. So uh, that is a quick overview of Google Flights. I think the, the, the things you need to take away from this are these filters here. If you have a budget in mind, if you have some dates in mind, but you're not sure where you want to go, then just put in your, your origin here and then leave the destination open. Always click Explore Destinations. It's going to take you to this map screen here. If you ever need to reset, just you'll click Explore Map. You can just go back to Flights. This takes you back to kind of this home base concept here. And then, of course, you know, change from economy to business or first class if you want. Uh, all that good stuff. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of Google Flights. This is what I use for 90% of my searching unless I need to uh, force a certain routing in order to accomplish some certain goal. So um, it, let's say I was flying Dallas to London and for some reason I wanted to route it through Los Angeles to get more miles, which yes, I've done that before. I do not recommend it. Uh, then I may use ITA software for that. But Google Flights gets you the results honestly quicker than you could get results on Americans' own website searching for American flights. So I highly recommend Google Flights. Tell you what, go spend 10, 15 minutes on it. Just goof around, search for some flights. Uh, and let me know if you have any, any questions here in the comments. Uh, I think this is one of the best sites out there. I highly encourage for you to use it. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. So everyone, take care. Andy from Andy's Travel Blog, signing off.